So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology, iPhone 14 Pro versus iPhone 13 Pro speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, go and see which one can get there first. Now, the iPhone 14 Pro and the 13 Pro, they don't really feel that much different. You know, I've been really checking these out, plan to do a comparison full one between these. I might've already done it actually, I haven't done the speed test. These right here just feel incredibly similar. I just, there's just no other way to put it. Looks like the iPhone 14 Pro turned on a little bit faster. 13 Pro Sierra Blue, 14 Pro in deep purple. Which colorway do you like more? So far, a little bit quicker to turn on for the iPhone 14 Pro. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the face unlock. So you can see it's exactly the same bring these up and they're gonna lock about the same camera was blocking my face on the 13 Pro there, but there's just no major change here. And um, I know it doesn't really need a major change, but I would like to see in a way to just bypass the lock screen. So just automatically unlocks when you see your face, that'd be a neat feature. Also, I do think that Face ID can always be improved, maybe get a little bit faster. I and know, I know it's fast already, but it can get a little faster. Everything could get a little bit faster, but no major changes there. Now, if we scroll through the home screens, both of these phones actually feel identical. And I mean, literally identical, not even just a little bit faster than a 14 Pro. No, it's identical. Like it feels like they just took the same phone, made it again, put a dynamic island. And when you're scrolling through, I feel like there is no change whatsoever in how the phone feels. So that can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on who you are. If you have a 13 Pro, it's not a major change. If you do have anything lower than a 13 Pro, it's a nice new upgrade. All right, guys, so we are ready for the app test. Let's go ahead and make sure everything gets closed out here so you can see everything closed out. We are on 16.0.2. Let's begin with calendar. You can see the same. We'll go into clock, same once again, calculator, Again, the same, going through some basic apps first. iPhone 13 Pro first on that one. App Store, you can see both of them the same there. We'll hit Games, and a little bit faster on the right, Apps. Basically, that is gonna be the left. And you can see, just depending on how fast you tap the application, it might be nearly identical. So, we're going to Instagram, and I even found that older iPhones so far, like the iPhone XS series, the iPhone 11 series, has been performing quite well on iOS 16. So Apple's been doing a great job keeping their older phones, or older phones staying fast. Let's go into Twitter here. And you can see Twitter is first on the left by a hair. We'll go to profile. And you can see first on the left by a hair. This could literally just be because my finger is not perfectly accurate, but at the same time, you're seeing performance that is basically on par with one another here. And um, that's a good thing again, if you have an older iPhone the 13 Pro, because the 13 Pro was an amazing phone, but if you have a 13 Pro, um, I don't know if I would upgrade, honestly, at this point. I've been really analyzing these two, and the Dynamic Island is cool, but I mean, unless, unless you're getting an amazing deal and you just want the latest and greatest colors and the new features, with the dynamic island, you're getting essentially the same phone. Also, I've been noticing another thing, you can see that was pretty similar, is that the iPhone 13 Pro is more of a point and shoot camera. This one with the 48 megapixel setup, sometimes you gotta focus it a little bit more to get it to take a perfect shot. Let's go into Starbucks, we'll talk about that later in another video. Pretty similar once again. Will it pull ahead in gaming though? I don't even think it's gonna pull ahead in gaming. No, it doesn't so far, will it play? And you can see, looks like the 13 Pro actually had that one first. We'll go into Asphalt 9 and see if this maybe will load faster on the iPhone 14 Pro. And you can see the iPhone 14 Pro a hair quicker there. But I mean, this stuff is tiny, tiny, like very small. Like this is not even, you know, I mean, this is just super the same. <laughs> so you could see that one was, it was hard to tell because of that pop-up, but pretty similar. I mean, you could play these light games without breaking a sweat. We'll go into Crossy Road just to kind of see how this performs. Actually, that one had a little pop-up. This this be happening too much in the speed test. Let's go into Crossy Road. 
these little pop-ups messing up the opening. You could see right here, iPhone 14 Pro, a little bit ahead. We'll head up out of there. We'll go into Tempo Run 2. And we're gonna do a render test later to see if this pulls ahead a lot, the iPhone 14 Pro. 14 Pro a little bit quicker there in the game. We'll head up out of here. So let's start playing that because we started playing it on here to make it fair. And we'll go into Lightroom. Lightroom first there. It looked like on the iPhone 14 Pro. We'll go into Geekbench 5 and that's on the right. So they're training applications. Some are opening faster on the right. Some are opening faster on the left. We'll go into 3D Mark Wildlife. You can see pretty close. We'll go into iMovie to wrap it up. Same launch time. And we are going to render this video. Let me go ahead and render this video right now instead of waiting till later. And we'll see how long it does take to render this out. I'll be back when they are done exporting. So this was a little bit of a shocking result here. Longer than my usual, a three minute and 37 second clip here. If you've seen in the render, the 13 Pro actually finished that and it finished it by like three or four seconds faster. That was really weird. You know, you have the faster chip here, yet the older chip just did better. And this, this shows you right here that if you're like thinking the iPhone 14 is silly because it doesn't have an A16, well, what does this tell you? It tells you that the A16 is not that much more powerful. So Apple putting the A15 in the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus is not really a big deal. So overall, app tests pretty similar. The iMovie render went to the iPhone 13 Pro. Really strange. Maybe we'll have to retest them later. Maybe it's because this phone is brand new still, not really updated for everything just yet. Maybe we'll test them again in the future. Let's go ahead now and go back through these applications. Let's just see if anything reloads. Both of them are rocking six gigs of RAM. So I wouldn't expect a difference on either. Both should hold these exactly the same. And Starbucks and Best Buy. Let's go into Groupon, eBay. And by the way, that's not a windbreaker. That's my hand sliding across the table. Somebody said, Nick, bro, you got the windbreaker in full action. No, that's actually just, it's just a table sliding around. Let's go into App Store. We'll go into weather, calculator, clock, and calendar. I think I missed Instagram, but we'll just make sure. So you could see everything nice and smooth. Everything closed out on both. Let's check the heat. And both of them feel about the same temperature. They're a little warm, about the same temperature, but reloading application, similar speed once again. All right, so look at these final scores. Take a look specifically at single core. Not much. We got about a 150 point increase on the 14 Pro. Now, yes, it's substantially more like 700 or so on the multi-core, but you want to pay attention to single core because day to day opening applications, what you actually do on your iPhone more than likely will involve single core. I mean, if you are playing games from time to time, you know, you will involve a little bit better performance with the iPhone 14 Pro, maybe a little bit better sustained performance because of that higher multi core. But in the real world day to day, these phones feel like the same thing, honestly. So. Performance wise, even with that benchmark showing that, I mean, we don't even have to run wildlife, even with that benchmark showing that, you know, being faster on the iPhone 14 Pro, everyday user who uses this will probably never even see that. That's that's my point there. You know, just that single core is so close on both of them. So what I wanna do before we wrap it up is go ahead and take a look at the camera. Oh no, don't bring in the Android, man. We don't like hims over here. Now we're using him for a camera example, that's all. Chill, chill, just chill. And click the camera at the same time, three, two, go. And you can see pretty similar launch time. We'll go ahead and do it again, three, two, go. And there we go, taking a photo. And taking a photo occurs at the same speed. So launching the cameras, you're not missing a shot on either of these. Well, that was a little bit better on the iPhone 14 Pro. Let's try that one one more time. Yeah, not really. So 
at the end of the day, let's wrap it up here. iPhone 14 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro in performance. Slightly better on the iPhone 14 Pro, technically speaking. Real world everyday use, identical. Get the iPhone 14 Pro if you really want that 48 megapixel ProRes camera. If you do want the deep purple colorway, you need more storage from your iPhone 13 Pro. If you have neither of these, you wanna save some money, get an iPhone 13 Pro, you'll be happy. If you wanna go to the latest and greatest, it's still worth it to get the 14 Pro. However, keep in mind, if you have the 13 Pro already, this is probably not the smartest move, you know, whether it's financially or in terms of just kind of like what you're getting, you're not really jumping that much. But keep in mind, that's not me saying this phone is bad. This phone was just so good that it just remains really good with this iPhone 14 Pro. Both of these are freaking fantastic rockstar phones. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well. I'll catch you all in the next episode. And peace.